Hello Capricorn and welcome to Mystic Door Tarot. This is Barb with your weekly tarot card reading for December 9th through the 15th. We're going to be taking a quick look at the current energy for the week. I do hope you're doing well and enjoying the holiday season. Now Capricorn, keep in mind these are general readings and will not res resonate with everyone. So let's get started. Let's see what's coming through. What are the cards saying for Capricorn? Starting off with which crystal is being suggested for Capricorn? And we have Okanite. Past life patterns and it concerns all your chakras. Now that's a hard crystal to find. If anybody knows where I can find this, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, it is a difficult uh, crystal to find. I've looked all over in Sedona. And uh, it tends to be expensive as well. But it's in regards to past lives and particular patterns. So, all right, let's take a look at uh, what the tarot has to say for you, Capricorn. Now, the reason you might be getting the Okanite Crystal card is... Um, Repeating things over and over from past life cycles. That's possible. So let's clear out anything in the deck. Clearing it for Capricorn. Okay. What's coming through for Capricorn? Messages, guidance. What does Capricorn need to know? And we have the Two of Pentacles. Certainly could have a lot on your plate, Capricorn. And we have the Seven of Swords. I think you had the Seven of Swords uh, in your last weekly reading. But I'm picking up more, um, putting together a strategic plan. And it might be in regards to money. We have the Three of Cups. Um, I'm picking up more. It is definitely a card of indicating celebration. Celebration coming in. Oh my goodness. And look what card fell out. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, great. Fantastic. Money. Yeah, a strategic plan where you're going to be celebrating in regards to money and maybe enough for you to retire or put away for the future. Bottom of the deck, well, we have the Major Arcana card, the Magician. This is playing out in the background this week, and you are manifesting this. You have the opportunity, you have the resources available to uh, manifest um, financial security, bringing some money in. So definitely can be um, a strategic plan, kind of... Um, it might have been you've been on a roller coaster in regards to money lately so you're putting together a plan you do have supportive people around you but i'm picking up more celebration i like the three energy here because it's like new beginnings a fresh new start and then we've got immediately following that is the ten of pentacles which we all strive for to have physical security financial security um, as well as you know being prepared for the future so let's clarify these tarot cards. And again, with the Okanite Crystal card, um, it might be releasing and letting go and, and eliminating past life patterns. So let's um, clarify this Two of Pentacles. And sometimes Two of Pentacles can have a message of follow the money. Oh, look at this. We had the Queen of Swords pop out. So it can be... Um, um, I'm really looking at the uh, butterfly there above her head. And she's even got a butterfly on her crown. So it can be that you're, um, there's a transformation here in regards to what you've been going through over and over and over again, possibly as of late. So Queen of Swords can be getting that mental clarity um, to stop. Um, <clears throat> this is like, what I'm picking up, what you see here, a lot that you're juggling, a lot that uh, I'm almost picking up um, 
borrow from Peter to pay Paul. And that could be. You could be deciding which bills have to get paid first before paying the others. And um, really um, look at the water in the back. So just handling a lot, juggling a lot. And now you're getting uh, the mental clarity here, going through a possible transformation. And we've got strategic planning. Now, I know the Seven of Swords can be something going on behind the scenes. Um, oh, wow. We had the Six of Wands fly out. This is now having success. This is success, triumph. Um, you're leading the way. People around you <clears throat> seeing what you're doing, standing and watching, being a role model for others, an inspiration to others. So it's more on picking up strategic planning with this Seven of Swords, kind of proactive uh, approach to things. Now, the Three of Cups, support, celebration, and you have the Knight of Swords. I'm not surprised to see the sword energy with you, Capricorn, because especially in regards to money, because you're always um, strategizing, coming with a plan, thinking how you can, um, you know, acquire more and what you can do. So the Knight of Swords is some new idea that's coming off of looking at things with um, like a proactive approach. And let's clarify, but we can see the outcome here is the Ten of Pentacles. And another knight. And that is the knight of desire. The cup is desire. Whether it's love, this can come in the form of, you know, the happily ever after, the Prince Charming riding in, um, you know, new love coming in for you. But this is a cup Look at how big that cup is. Cups um, are all about not only your feelings and emotions, but also your intuition and what you desire. So that's what's coming through. And in this case, pentacles with it being um, pentacles, primarily we think of in a financial way. But pentacles can also be in regards to health and well-being. So it is what you desire you're getting that end result. And that could be any time during this week. You do have the Magician card playing in the background. You have everything you need here. It's up to you getting that uh, vision, taking action, taking advantage, and using the resources available to you to manifest into something tangible. Bottom of the deck here, we see the Seven of Pentacles about reassessing, uh, you know, the garden, you might say. Uh, reassessing your uh, your plan. So kind of a proactive approach. And then look at this. We have the King of Pentacles. And that's actually Taurus's card. So your sister Earth sign. This is a strategy of financial security. This King has mastered being a business person. And then you have the Ace of Swords, success after a long journey. So that is what has yet to be. That'll unfold this week. But it's up to you with the Magician card energy playing out in the background. So let's take a look at your Oracle messages. What's coming through for Capricorn. And we have, oh, Beyond the Ordinary. I really like that. Bearing fruit, that ties in with the, the money. And feeling the world. Now, Beyond the Ordinary is kind of like a card indicating that what you're hoping for, wishing nor for, it's almost like divine timing because uh, everything's not in place. It's not, um, it's not come together yet. It's not ch chosen a, a path, a shape, or a manner in which it's going to come in. So your job this week, Capricorn, is to stay the course, allowing whatever comes in to be exactly as it wants to be without uh, trying to uh, 
uh, trying to have the outcome. Remember, strategic planning here, something you're very good at, you know, trying to uh, determine, uh, put things in place for the outcome that you want. And this is kind of beyond that. So very special message there with that. Now, this second card is like an extension beyond the ordinary because this is most certainly results of hard work. Um, it's an idea or uh, if you have a consistent focused thought manifesting into form. Remember, you've got the magician working in the background here. So everything is connected. And you're very good, Capricorn, at making things happen. So pay close attention to what you are indeed, your intentions, what you're trying to manifest. This could be your career to relationships. Um, your influence is very, very strong. It's saying bearing fruit. So these two cards very much connected. Now, the last oracle message here is feeling the world. This is, this is in regards to... Um, you know, being sensitive to others around you. Um, it can also be people around you. Like if you feel like you're um, kind of feeling off or tired, you might be drained. You might be getting drained by others' energy. Um, these can be people that, um, if you ter heard the term energy vampires, where... Um, you don't feel good after, you know, when they come up, they're around you and you just feel drained. You don't feel good. Um, and you, um, you need to be aware of that. Realizing that uh, that connection or that individual, you know, is, is really leaving you feeling uh, just in general, not feeling good. So trust your instincts. In regards to that, take care of you. Uh, certainly practice saying no to people like that. Um, the other thing with feeling the world is you're being asked to be aware of how your words and actions might affect others. You don't have control over how um, someone will respond to you. But this is certainly about being a little bit uh, more empathetic in your delivery Capricorn all right moving on we're gonna pull some oracle messages from career and life oracle deck here so what's coming through for Capricorn what does Capricorn need to hear what do we have oh look at this Look at this kitty cat. Independence. It's time to go out on your own, create your own business, or try something well outside your comfort zone. That is just good, solid advice. Let's see what else is coming through, Capricorn. You might be tired of working uh, for someone else. And so uh, you're, fig you're trying to figure out what you can do on a, like a side gig or something that you're good at or a hobby, how you can make money off of that. And yes, you're going to have to take a leap of faith. Innovation. You'll need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion. Old ways are outdated. Invent, create, and test ideas. Okay, that can really play into the independence message here. Come up with something new. Um, you know, again, step outside of your comfort zone. Creating your own business, your own uh, pathway. A new way to make money. Lately, everywhere I'm seeing uh, get involved in something, create some kind of business where you're making money while you sleep. Could be something online. Oh my goodness, we had we actually had two come out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them. You have magic. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want in your life. The sky is the limit. That certainly ties into your magician card magic you have the power now use your magic to attract what you want into your life the sky is the limit certainly you have the power to manifest what it is you want 
You can make it happen. Now, gestures also fell out. You may be asked to help someone out, or you may need a hand. Get, give deserved praise to others, and you will receive recognition too. And that could be you might need some help in regards to what these four cards are talking about, getting something off the ground. Uh, you might have the skill, the idea, but you might need some help either financially or or um, just some kind of business advice to maybe um, kickstart um, an idea, a side gig. Maybe something on social media as well. Well, there you have it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. Love and abundance to my Capricorn family. <music>